Go! Sunny, warm, slightly less humid and muggy. Uh, some high stratosphere clouds streaming in from the west as the sun starts its ascend to the highest point of the sky uh, today on this early summer, mid uh, June. Uh, beautiful, gorgeous, stunning, just post sunrise in the greater Bloomington metropolitan area in central Illinois. It's absolutely gorgeous outside today. But today, yes, yes it is, yes. You already know what it is. It's Commodity Mondays on Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. Exclusive content, industry exclusive. Um, uh, channel creating content at Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. Um, Commodity Mondays. Nowhere else on YouTube. This is industry exclusive and channel only to Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. Um, Commodity Mondays. And yes, it's a great day to have Commodity Mondays because the gold market has crashed in terms of gold. One and a half percent after one and a half percent on Friday. The gold market's crashed. And, and Commodity Mondays. Blood's in the water in the commodity market. Gold down 1.5%. Silver down 1%. All the mining stocks are probably going to get hammered today. What are you going to do, Vincenzo? I hear that shark in the water. Uh, that mean old shark that's probably went out and bought some gold and silver bullion because he, see, he knows Vincenzo does. And now it collapses on him. But uh, what Vincenzo is doing is he's going to uh, scoop up some things at a discount today. And we'll get into that a little bit later on as the market's open. And I see the overreaction in the mining sector where they may sell off 3 to 6% in certain ones. I have cash on the sidelines and I will acquire more of these businesses as the uh, sheeple and the simpletons sell off phenomenal companies and I buy them at relatively uh, cheap discounted prices, right? Because I'm a long-term hodler in gold and silver. You know what I'm saying? Just telling Vincenzo they're going to clean his room today because of COVID. Um, hotels have got even more disgusting because they only clean your room once a week instead of every day. If you wanted to, what kind of fucking bullshit is that? I'm trying to stop the spread of a virus, and we're going to let the room stay saturated and filth for six days. You fucking believe that shit? Can you fucking believe they call that sanitary? from the health department. You know what I mean? What the fuck is going on in this country? Uh, let's take a look at the dollar index. That's a good way to start. Where are we at? Dollar. The dollar's not even rising on this. You would think the dollar would be rising as gold goes down. And you may be asking yourself, Vincenzo, why is gold bullion and silver bullion going down today? Well, because of inflation fears, uh, investors have the false uh, assumption at the federal government now, as the rest of the nation and politicians and local media and cities and states have taken notice of rapid inflation. We had 5% um, infl cumulative inflation um, last month. Uh, that's crazy. 5% in one month, right? The consumer price index, excluding food and energy, went up 0.8% the highest since 2008 and the financial collapse. And and with food and energy, right, you had 5% inflation month over month. That's crazy. I can't wait for this month to come out, these numbers. It's gonna be higher than that. So now the investors on Wall Street are getting scared and they're trying to hedge their money, so they're buying stocks, value stocks, right, that pay good dividends, that pay dividends now, that have good earnings now. That's why those businesses have started to go up uh, the last couple of months and international value funds and dividend and emerging market funds, things that are gonna go up as the US dollar goes down because of inflation. Well, now the market has the false assumption in the gold market, ah, the Fed's gotta do something about it because the dollar's rolling over and inflation's skyrocketing, so they're gonna have to start tightening, restrict lending, deflate the currency a little bit by stop uh, printing money and doing fiscal stimulus. Well, they're not gonna do that. Jerome Powell and Janie Yellen are not gonna do that, neither is Joe Biden. They're gonna insist that we get more. Joe Biden's already working on another stimulus package. You know, it's not going to stop. So when this gold sells off, like it has $50, $75 the last two days, 
if you're a smart investor and you have a high IQ and uh, money and financial education, you're scooping up um, these cheap discounted gold prices. And as you know, Vincenzo just bought a half ounce of gold yesterday and he bought 13 ounces of silver, you know, because he buys every month, just like he buys mining businesses every month, right? He goes into the market, just like he goes into the physical gold and silver bullion market and he acquires more bullion and he acquires more uh, businesses, right? And he adds to his position and his uh, stake in these businesses because they're solid fundamental businesses, right? You guys gotta be doing that too. The dollar came up to overhead resistance and that dotted line is where the US dollar was and Joe Biden took office on January the 20th of 2021. And as you know, Vincenzo, it looks like a little double top there. Vincenzo thinks we're coming way down here in the next few months, right? Pull our industry exclusive and YouTube made famous drawing tool, right? Nobody else has that drawing tool. Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing made that drawing tool. But we know, Vincenzo thinks we're coming down here to major underneath support uh, by the end of this year. You see it's a down sloping and that's very far down there. That's at the 90 hand. Oh no, that's, that's in the next month. Next month, Week to month, we're gonna trade back down there and retest our underneath support, which is our last line of defense. And by uh, the mid, uh, early fall, early to mid fall, Vincenzo thinks we're gonna be down here in the US dollar. Towards the end of the year, we're gonna be down there, getting into the 80 handle. And then, oh yes, Vincenzo thinks um, by the end of the year and the first quarter of next year, in an up and down fashion, Vincenzo, as the price action would have been moved along, down over here, we're gonna keep this marked so when we get down, we're gonna know it's down. Right here. Well, this is as far as this will let me go in the three hour time frame. But old Vincenzo thinks by the end of this year and the first quarter of next year, we're gonna be flirting with there to start 2022, flirting with the 80 handle. Oh, yes, Vincenzo believes that wholeheartedly, right? We're gonna put some targets on here for you right now to right here to the. Dot, dot, right here. Bam. 88. Uh, by the end of this year, Vincenzo believes we will be up. 88 handle. Old Vincenzo believes. Let's make that a better color. Bam. You see that? And then we're going to clone that. And by uh, the next week, uh, the week to the end of the next month, weeks to the next month, we're going to be trading at the, uh, a little bit lower than my aunt. We're going to be trading down here at the 89 handle in the next week to month. 88 by the end of the summer, early fall, right? And then old Vincenzo, by the end of this year, thinks we're going to have a big collapse in the dollar. And we're going to be trading near the 80 handle by the late fall, late fall or early winter, late fall and early winter, which brings us into the new year, the start of 2022. Vincenzo thinks we're going to be at the 83 handle and the US dollar, right? Remember, this is Commodity Mondays, another industry exclusive and channel only to Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, Commodity Mondays, right? Everybody loves Commodity Mondays. You need to know what's going on. Let's look at crude oil. Now that we know Vincenzo thinks the US dollar is going to be going down, as you know, Vincenzo's got a very bullish um, crude oil price, right? A uh, uh, YouTube only, only to uh, Peter Schiff, say he thinks it's gonna be $150 a barrel by next year. Old Vincenzo thinks it's going to be more than that, right? Where's my crude oil? You can see we've been breaking out of that. If we zoom out, like Vincenzo always says, well, Vincenzo says you start out from the farthest out time frame, right? And oh, yes. You see, we have a massive bull pattern. And uh, we it's so big of a pattern, you have to go out to the monthly to see this. That's how big of a pattern this is. Look at that. That's a massive bull flag. After a pump, down, you see the pump, bam. You see the upper resistance and the lower support, da, in a beak, a duck beak look fashion, which is a bull flag. And the targeted move out of that, when it breaks out, which it's threatening right now to break out and confirm the breakout. Oh shit. Car's coming hot. Gonna have to punch it with this 400 horsepower Hemi to ease out in front of that motherfucker. Um, notice how smooth and sound and, uh, Beautiful that engine sounded. 70,000 miles on her. 
Um, but you can see we're threatening to break out of that now. And if we do, I have a target by the end of 2022, as you just seen, Vincenzo thinks by uh, the end of fall, early winter, the start of 2022, uh, the dollar is going to be, the US dollar index is going to be threatening the 80 handle. And by the end of 2022, Vincenzo thinks uh, oil. You see this big 17-year uh, bull flag after the pump. You see that? That's a bull flag. You have the pump and then the down and sideways consolidation. See that? For since 2000, for 17 years. And we're threatening to break out of that right now. And as the dollar continues to collapse, shit, as the dollar continues to collapse, um, and Joe Biden continues to print money in the United States and devalues and debases the currency, oil is going to skyrocket. And it's trying to tell you that with this bull flag. Look at that. Huge down and sideways consolidation after a pump. That's very bullish. The exact opposite of crypto, right? The, the chart and the market is trying to tell you oil is about to explode in an up and down fashion. But once it breaks, it's going to, have a, it's going to be a catapult. And you want to be in to some of these... Uh, high paying dividend paying uh oil companies fuck you know what i'm saying you got to be in there you got to be crazy not to own some of these oil companies that got beat down last year in the brief deflation um when the world shut down and that they're at a discount that's why they're giving you eight percent ten percent dividend a year because they're telling you hey fuckhead uh stick with us the, the next year during these hardships until the economies go back and the uh the inflation starts to take over. You're going to be, re you're going to reap rewards, you know, if you put your money here. And now it's a year later, and you're starting to reap the rewards. Oil, uh, crude oil is over seventy-one dollars, threatening seventy-two. And like I said last week, when I was at sixty-eight, I said you're going to flirt with seventy. And as soon as you get to seventy, when you blink, you're going to be at eighty, right? And now you've already fifteen percent through the seventy, the seventy handle. Old Vincenzo is trying to warn you with industry exclusive channel only to Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing um, on Commodity Mondays and Fiscal and Monetary Policy Friday, right? I got another ex industry exclusive tool that I'm going to bring out today, and it's the inflation tool. And it's going to show you if you're holding dollars from set years to current, how much purchasing power you've lost. Very powerful tool. Look at that. Oil's, the oil is just breaking out. It's breaking back through that overhead resistance in this rising channel, which can be bullish, right? And this appears to be a bullish one. And it's just going and soaring and ascending. It's got the moving averages moving in from, from uh, bottom left to top right, which is a ascending, uh, rising moving averages in the three hour, which is very bullish, the opposite of crypto. So anytime crude oil is gonna come down and test these av moving averages, they're gonna act as a, a bouncing factor because they're moving up, right? There's positive momentum right now. The cryptos are all moving down, right? You can see they've really skyrocketed the last month, month and a half. I expect crude oil to keep moving up as the US dollar continues to fall. This brief pump down in gold and silver bullion, I think you're just coming down the major underneath res uh, retesting at 1820 and I believe you're going to bounce and this is a phenomenal buying opportunity and uh, as soon as the market figures it out the gold's going to skyrocket along with oil copper see copper still skyrocketing four and a half dollars all-time highs you know it's been on a tear for the last 18 months gold's going to join that party and break its old high from last year every time it dips acquire more of your businesses or bullion um, because you want as much of it as you can before it blows past 2,000 and makes its way towards three, four, and 5,000. By then, it's too late to reap the rewards of uh, these big mining share increases um, and leveraging your money. Right? You got to get your fucking shit together. But uh, yep, I gotta let you go. I got some business to attend to. But more commodity industry exclusive channel only commodity Mondays. Uh, we'll be uh, starting um, very shortly. Fuck, that's where I wanted to go in. Uh, we'll be going uh, to later on today as I take care of this business at work, and I'll get out some more commodity Mondays. Uh, peace and love. Peace and love.